Yes, Fuso DG here, you know, representing a new African nation. Currently in Ghana right now, you know, at home, where you're supposed to be, where we're all supposed to be. You know, this is, you know, the motherland for the kings and queens. Obviously, growing up in London, you know, some of you might, may have grown up in or London, US, Europe, wherever, outside Africa. You know, growing up in London, the perception of, you know, the motherland was, was so negative to the point where, you know, it wasn't so cool to associate yourself with being African. And to me, it's, it's been like 400 years of, you know, self-hate seed that's been planted um, in us mentally um, for us to turn our backs on, on, on where we're from. And, you know, it, the psychological effects of being bombarded with these negative images and these negative narratives it's, it's, it's massive and, and it's time for us to undo it. It's time to unlearn and relearn. It's time to replant or uproot um, the self-hate seeds and plant, you know, self-love seeds. You know, so for me, you know, I fell back in love with being African when I was hearing amazing music back home and I really wanted to find out where it was coming from. Um, so I decided to take a trip. And I can only share my story for you to understand where I'm coming from. You know, I decided to take a trip, you know, back to, to the motherland, to Ghana, to, to see where this music was coming from. And when I landed, I felt so tricked by the media. I, saw, I was seeing, you know, be beauty, talent, entrepreneurs, creatives, you know, technology, um, hearing amazing music, seeing amazing dancers. You know, I've seen so many things that I would have never seen being in the UK because the narrative over there, you know, it never shows the beauty of Africa, you know, because I grew up just watching stuff like Band Aid and Comic Relief, and all they do is just show, you know, kids dying, you know, uh, you know famine, war, you know, a, a place where you, you know, you feel sorry for, you know, the children of Africa, you want to give a pound a month, or you want to give a dollar a month if you're from the US. But to me, I always, you know, growing up or uh, being older and kind of educating myself, you know, I realized that that was crippling to the motherland because if you're giving one pound to Ghana and you're going to Vegas and spending 10,000 a week, you know, it doesn't make sense, you know, because same way people are dying in America, you know, there's drugs, there's famine, there's war, but America don't tell that narrative. You know, the problems that are in Africa, it's, you know, more problems in America. In fact, America, you're more likely to die, you know, in your own home, you know, than in, in Africa. Here, there's people who look like you. If somebody don't like you, they just don't like you. Not because of how you look. You know, you know the police are killing us over in America, but they don't tell those kind of narratives. You know, but so people still go there. They go to Miami. They spend like 10k in a club, and then they give one dollar to Africa, a place that will benefit you. So to me, that never really made sense, and I couldn't really get with stuff like Band Aid and Comic Relief because I felt like they had their own narratives to kind of uh, uh, continue to push the negative agenda of Africa and to continue to oppress our people and continue to make us disconnect from each other. We don't spend time with each other as black people because we don't trust each other. And the reason why we don't trust each other is the kind of narrative that they pushed onto us, you know, from the movies that they fund, from the kind of news stories that they push out there. You know, so I had to come back and see for myself. So that one trip back and seeing the amazing people, the food, the, the talent, you know, the entrepreneurs, the businesses, the, the, just everything. And, and me discovering a dance called Azonto and making a song about it. And all of a sudden, you know, the whole world opened up for me just from being here, you know. So I came and I found my gold. And I would encourage you to come and find your gold because trust me, the motherland has something for you. But you only, you only know if you take a trip to the motherland. And, you know, this, this, the structure out there is made for you to, not want to think about taking a trip because it's going to be a life changing trip for you. It's, it's been life changing. It's been a, it's been life changing trips for many people who have travelled back, you know, uh, on their own pilgrimage, you know, to the motherland. So definitely, I'd encourage you come and find your gold because trust me, taking a trip back to to the motherland open up the whole world to you, man. So yeah, man. Obviously, New African Nation Conference. Um, today we had a New African Nation Conference. The idea is, you know. 
it's a beautiful time where people are now embracing their culture and embracing Africa. And, you know, people are coming back home to have a great time. But, you know, we want it to be more than coming and turning up. We want to have conversations. We want to find ways that we can build together, especially if you want to move back home. Where do you go to? Who do you speak to? And that's what this platform is for, you know, to bring all these like-minded people together so we can have a constructive conversation about how we can, if, you know, invest in the motherland. If you want to buy land, who to talk to? If you want to um, uh, visit Ghana, where do you go? You know, if you want to, um, I don't know, like start your own business what lawyer do you talk to you know it's just start conversations you know today people are bringing up problems and also people the same people bringing up solutions to the problem they even brought up so it's nice for these kind of conversations to happen and you know i'm glad that new african nation conference is you know is a platform for these kind of uh, conversations and, and and solution um uh platform you know uh, kind of event so yeah I, it was a beautiful day today um what if you acquire bar? Into Mumbra if you buy a train, I have seen no fear. Into when you enter Mumbra, why? Ra ra ra. It's Fees. Yes, it's your boy Fees ODG, and I want to say a big shout out to Got Kush TV, getting you high on knowledge on how to move back home, and big shout out to Voyage to the Motherland, because you already know they have the blueprint for you to come back home. Breathe. <laughs>